Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. It's great to have each and every one of you here today. <laughs> welcome to all new subbies, new subscribers, to all my followers, my subscribers that has been rocking with me. I greatly appreciate every one of you, your beautiful energies, your creative minds, tarot lovers, tarot beginners. It's great to always have you here as well. <laughs> All right, so let's do a divine masculine energy tab. Oh my God, the dreaded masculine. <laughs> anyway, keep in mind that divine masculine could be a male or female. This is the energies we're tapping into, that yin and, energy, yin and yang energy that's within all of us, right? To create that flow. Now, um, this could also resonate with the divine masculine or the wounded masculine energy within yourself that needs some sort of message, uh, insight, or confirmation. Not all of the messages are going to resonate with your particular divine masculine, and that's okay. It may not be the message or the reading for you today. All right? This is just not about wishing for union. You should wish for more, like the strength, the courage, the healthy aspects of this connection, all right? You should be wishing for this soul ascension so you could be the best version or the highest expression of the most high. If this is an equally yoke, twin flame journey or connection, it is ordained by the most high and everything that's happening within your journey with you, your divine masculine or outside of this connection, it's ordained by the most high. All right. Keep in mind, it's a soul ascension. We're breaking out a lot of glass ceilings, programming conditions that was going on generations to generations to generations. You have answered the call to raise the vibration of the earth to be connected with all elements and the animal kingdom. It's bigger than just union, honey. All right. So congratulations for all twin flamers that are in union and working together, whether it's a business, a career, children, family and still doing their life purpose or still working on their soul purpose. Congratulations, we welcome all that energy in. All right, so let's get ahead now. Let's get it, let's get it. What's going on with your divine masculine? And keep in mind, some divine masculine are still trapped in their wounded masculine energy, but that does not mean that they're not divine. They just not hit that level yet. And that's okay. We are here to tap into the energies to see what your divine masculine may be learning, what they may need to work on, and again, divine feminines, whenever you do that great work, that healing work, your divine masculine benefits from it and vice versa. This is a teacher and student, not a mama to a child, not a parent to a child. This is teacher to student and vice versa. You guys are teaching each other how to be the highest expression of oneself. This is a journey back to one's self. <laughs> Some of you are like, fuck it. I give up. Okay, that's cool too. <laughs> Divine Masculine, what are you dealing with right now? We have creation and we also have expansion. So some of your Divine Masculine are being very practical and rational in whatever they're dealing with right now. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm hearing that they're tapping into their emotions occasionally. For some of you, your divine masculine may be working on their emotional body because they're starting to have this understanding, this mental expansion that they do need their emotions to create. You know, a lot of things that we create comes from our inner selves of how we feel at this time. The best love songs come from broken hearts, right? Comes from longing and craving. Creative energy. I, I saw this saying um, a time back on Instagram talk about I love being broken hearted because it gives me the power. It gives me the strength to create new things, create a new beginning, a new life. But then not everybody has the same perspective, right? Wow. We also have the number three going on here with the number 11. 311, maybe a timestamp. It may be a birth date. Just take it how it resonates. Listen. Your divine masculine may have this, I'm hearing swan or this elephant totem. Now the swan is very graceful, it's very pure. It talks about pure love for me, all right? So your divine masculine, for some of you, they're creating from a pure love energy, whether it's from their divine feminine or they're tapping in to their feminine energy to create. 
there's an opportunity for your divine masculine to expand and they may be doing that right now i'm hearing that they're making oh my nose is always whistling today you guys i blew my nose earlier and it like it swole my nostrils but anyway if you hear me whistling in my nose how embarrassing is that i'm feeling like they're very efficient right now or there's high efficiency going on they may be making small slow move but it's creating a big mark i'm hearing or a big aim very interesting energy with this divine masculine so we have the number three and the threes could talk about <laughs> there we go with my nose the three could talk about creating from love and wisdom all right and they're gonna benefit it by expanding that's just what i picked up when i saw the number three so your divine masculine may be in their root chakra so like i explained before you guys the root chakra is extremely difficult it takes time it takes going back and forth to clear the root or the base chakra because a lot of conditioning programs family ideas you have to go through you have to break through all of that just to get to the next chakra which is the sacral all right and that's we're talking about clearing here right now, your person or your divine masculine could be learning how to create their own story or they're rewriting the narrative. Hey, your person could be a storyteller. They could be a writer, an author. They could be a creator of decks. They could be artistic, a musician, even home goods. You get what I'm saying? So there's a strength head to change this your divine masculine's personal narrative and i feel like there's a lot of solid visions that's going on here your divine masculine could even be experiencing or kind of attracted to new actions that the world is presenting to them so some of your divine masculine is lending or they're picking up a lot of new actions from the diversity of the world to create possibilities here as well so they could be uh, following pages that promote healthy living they could be following other tarot readers on other social platforms they could be looking at tarot readings they could be into holistic remedies it's something very new here and it's creating new actions of expansion this is what i'm getting here so fresh possibilities and this divine masculine is thinking about taking a new direction because we have expansion here right so let's keep moving forward let's see what else let's get the crappy cards out here right yeah let's get the crappy cards out here <laughs> divine masculine what is going on with you what is going on with the divine masculine so they may be moving out from a rational state of mind to more emotional and practical so that's water with earth new lifestyle so the new lifestyle card has been ruminating on my platform if you have been following me for a, a while you would see that a lot of us as a collective we're starting a new beginning and that's because the end, end of the year you don't have to wait till the end of the year to have a new beginning or start a new lifestyle you could change that narrative whenever you feel you're ready or when you know it's time some sometimes we're not ready but we know it's time we have pay attention so they're paying attention like i said they're really drawn to diversity or diverse way of doing things right now it's new possibility and new actions to promote this healthy new lifestyle now divine feminine that may look totally different to you and that's okay you're not in your divine masculine shoes even though at times you pick up their energy their moods and their horniness <laughs> and you know they could be really feeling about really feeling good about their uh physical appearance so they may be a little bit more light-hearted this may look flirtatious to you divine feminine <laughs> come on divine masculine crappy cards creation new lifestyle all right so we're going to take the new lifestyle so their divine masculine is very interested in new possibilities, new actions, and a new lifestyle. They're ready to expand. They're ready to take small or subtle steps. This could also t talk about, um, yeah, they're taking small, subtle steps. So this may feel like the Knight of Coins energy or Pentacles where they're taking very small steps. We have money matters, yeah. All right, so some of you already know that money is another big factor in this divine masculine's uh, journey and even coming into union with their feminine. Because money, you know, it provides that new lifestyle. It provides that opportunities and the possibilities. Some of your divine masculines, they really want to be a provider. They really want to be financially secure and safe in life, all right? So we should respect that, right? We have commitment coming soon. 
no don't get crazy don't get crazy for some of you this is a commitment to the divine feminine but it could also talk about the divine masculine making commitments of expansion another commitment of expansion and opportunity is coming for your divine masculine all right so you know I'm going to say a little affirmation that I love to say here on the channel and it goes, I pray you have the courage to face the chains that hold you back and I hope you find the courage to break them, divine masculine, all right? Because when we start things new, we get a little bit shaky, we get a little bit like nervous or doubtful or anxiety and we don't want those chains to hold us back, all right? So let's see how your divine masculine may be feeling about themselves, you know, I do a lot of these types of spread because if this is a true divine masculine with a divine feminine, you already know how they feel. You pick up their energy, their warmth. You see them in your dreams. You have telepathic uh, visions and communications. You have full-blown conversations in your mind with this person. So they're feeling very grateful about themselves right now. And I feel like this is the right energy. This is the right attitude. I almost say thank the most high. <laughs> So they may be thanking the most high for whatever they have going on. It could be very small. It could be next to nothing, but they have something. They would always have enough. It's like my heart space feels like it's blossoming or something <laughs> when I said that. So they're feeling kind of blessed right now. They could be feeling blessed of this energy that they have. They could be feeling very blessed that they're creating things, that they're having this expansion for some of you, they may be, they may have like this passion or this hobby, this skill, or this talent that they have that they're relying on or they're falling back on for money issues or money matters. Yeah, I feel like they're, I'm hearing wholesome. So I don't know if they're eating wholesome or they feel a sense of wholesomeness within. Wow, divine masculine. This is, this is some good stuff. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. A really positive attitude how does this divine masculine feel about themselves let's try this again i'm hearing it could be worse so this is how your divine masculine may be thinking right now it could be worse they may have heard stories we have safe and vulnerable so they may be seeing like i said they're very drawn to the diversity of the world right now they're picking up little things from what the world has to offer so they may be seeing a lot of horror stories testaments about what people are going through right now in the pandemic and whatever they have going on for them they feel truly safe now this could also feel like they're uh traveling the safe way they could be making investments or you know they're trying to have some sort of budget in a safe manner but it could also mean that they're not willing to take a risk and smart people take risk all the time all right it's part of expansion you get what i'm saying but if we're playing it safe we're going to fall into the system's rules or the world's rules so this following the world's diversity or attracted to what the world is presenting as new opportunities or possibilities may be a little bit um kind of shady or sketchy but this may be another learning lesson for your divine masculine and let me tell you divine feminine the healing and the learning lesson does not stop even when you guys go into union you know it's going to be more intense overwhelming it's going to even be even be powerful beautiful but it is going to have those shadow moments and you should be okay with that. You should be prepared for that. Like I said, you should be wishing for more than union. You should be wishing for the strength, the mental capacity, the discipline to stay the course, right? So they may be just doing things on the safe side, but it's giving them the sense of feeling blessed and safe. Now, they could be dealing with some um, helplessness. I did sense that uh, in the beginning as well, that they're kind of like shaky in what's new hey so they may be feeling like uh they don't have a grip on things they may be feeling very unprotected i'm hearing there's no life insurance or there's no insurance there's no insurance so it's like they're looking for deals or they're looking for investments or ways to expand new possibilities that offer this safety net when it comes to their money. So if your divine masculine was just out here, you know, jumping on every money train, I feel like they're now trying to play it safe. 
And I, when I say money train, I mean like they were just trying any and anything to just make money. Now it's a little bit more thought. They may be coming from a little bit more of um, authentic energy is what I heard. A little bit more, yeah, from themselves, from their core. How is this divine masculine feeling about themselves? One card, please. How is this divine masculine feeling about themselves? So they're open, yeah. They're, they're, they're open. They're getting a lot of ideas from the world. They could be following a lot of healthier platforms. They're learning bits and pieces, and they're trying to apply it to their, their situation to build or change this narrative. Hey, So they're open. They may see a lot of signs and synchronicities that they're now acknowledging. Maybe before they was like, completely oblivious i feel like they're more open to receiving blessings they're they're open to receiving more hair so they're open and accepting right now divine feminine and this is why we have commitment coming some of you i heard i love you so they may be open to more emotions accepting their emotions as well how do they feel about their divine feminine <laughs> <laughs> they feel very loving towards you divine feminine and that's a good thing because that means they're loving their feminine energy which is their emotions their intuitive energy the need to want to express to grow to expand gracefully this is some good stuff you guys yeah they're very open to facing the flow of things as well they could also be connecting with their love and energy within themselves, Divine Feminine. But right now, they may be very powerless to offer you a commitment. Or they could just be feeling weak to the thought of a commitment. All right? So, oh my gosh. For some of you, your Divine Masculine knows that this is what they want to offer is a commitment to you. But they may be feeling weak. Some of them may be feeling powerless because of money. And like I mentioned in previous videos, money issues seems to be one of the number one factors to separate people in relationship and divorces. All right. So let's bust down the tarot and see what is going on with your divine masculine. Let's check in the time. Oh, divine feminine. I'm hearing that they want to write not a chapter. They want to write a whole book with you. It's almost like I'm hearing, I need you to help me to write this book, this new book. I'm writing a new book. Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups in the middle of the deck. They want to start a new emotional cycle with you. I'm hearing I love you. And didn't I mention that or did I say it in my mind? I can't remember. But when I saw the receptive card, I heard, I love you. I love you. And I said in the beginning that I felt like my heart was blossoming or blooming. And there we have some roses in the background. Hey, mm, You have to accept the rose and the thorns. But maybe the roses have thorns to protect itself, to protect its beauty, right? <laughs> you are just divine masculine's rose. You're beautiful. You're passionate. You're sweet to the smell. You're soft, but you have like that tough side to protect yourself. And they are loving it. They want to embrace this love with you. You make them feel very romantic. And it's like they want to offer a romantic commitment. Or... Yeah, they're very paralyzed to do it, though. What? Come on, Divine Masculine. You better stop playing. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So for right now, I'm hearing I need to do this alone. I need to do this alone. I'm hearing um, long-term, long-term commitment. So your Divine Masculine may be looking into how could they bring in this new, this new uh, lifestyle? How could they change the narrative? And they may be having to accept because we have... Uh, receptive right they may have to come to terms that this is going to be a um it's not going to be a short process to do this all right to achieve what they need to achieve with the nine of pentacles they're very much focused on their financial security this is security energy with the nine of pentacles they could also be feeling like the divine feminine is being more independent they could also be loving that at the same time they're feeling a little bit kind of like powerless towards that as well divine feminine but what i'm seeing is that um what 
Okay, so they want to be a little bit self-sufficient. They want to be more self-sufficient when it comes to their finances. Like I said, you're dealing with a divine masculine that wants to be a provider. They want to be a protector. They want to be a reliable source in your life. But because of their... Um, this person may have... Your divine masculine may have a little bit of procrastination in building this lifestyle. It's, if you're dealing with a divine masculine that always wanted to jump on everything that was making money, I definitely feel like long-term commitments to, to financial goals may be a weak spot here is what I'm getting at, all right? For some of you, your divine masculine may be a workaholic. This may be somebody that likes to work. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with um, a divine masculine that has multiple financial steps, step, setbacks all right they may have over invest in a in a business or in work and that may have caused a setback as well so some of you they're working like dead-end jobs jobs that continuously take a lot of energy and finances from them but does not give them that security that they're looking for that wealth that success now this is going to sound a little bit this is very sensitive being that i'm a mother and a woman but some of you uh divine feminines you may be in your menopause or you're not at that age to have children and your divine masculine is thinking about having children there may be a age gap here as well maybe your divine masculine is a lot younger than you and you may be older to the point where you cannot have children your divine masculine thinks about having a baby with you or getting you pregnant or how you would look pregnant so that may be a source of uh, inspiration or motivation maybe you're dealing with a divine masculine that already has children and this is why they push so hard for money. They always job hunting or they're always looking for a way to generate money, avenues of money. All right. Uh, for the next group of you, if you do not have a child with your divine masculine, if you did, they always think about when you were pregnant, how you looked for, uh, with your pregnant belly. For another set of you, this divine masculine envisions like a story, like a fairy tale of you with your pregnant belly that's a masculine that's men that's divine masculine male to divine feminine female and it could be any gender right gender doesn't really play a role here that's just what i'm seeing with the nine of pentacles energy all right so let's keep going <laughs> all right so financial security the hermit i'd rather do this alone I rather do this alone. So your divine masculine going through a deep reflection right here, a lot of introspective energy. They could also be perfecting their mind or their mental skills right now. They're looking deep within. You know, really, I'm hearing that they're sorting out some emotional uh, stuff within them in this deep reflection because they're coming to terms that they need emotions. They need that emotional body to create. They need to feel now instead of going in this robotic energy. You may be dealing with a Virgo or they have this Virgo energy, a very earthy energy. Could be Capricorn, could be Taurus, where they're very critical about themselves. They could be over criticizing about their past setbacks as well. They could be uh, kind of like because of trauma. I'm hearing they're kind of like hesitant or they always feel like somebody's trying to snake them snake eyes is what i heard so they're very like over analyzing things because they always feel like somebody's out to get them and that could be trauma as well and this is why we have deep reflection you could also be dealing with a divine masculine that always has to do things their way they may have a little bit of ocd where they feel like it's best to just do things myself as well so if you're dealing with a virgo energy this is someone that's very particular about how things are done they may have a lot of expertise or they have like this uh i'm, I'm hearing like an expertise like an expertise or a skill that they're mastered at and it's like only them could do it type of energy yeah this person is very critical about themselves divine feminine so if they have some setbacks here i feel like they're trying to learn the wisdom from that i'm hearing so they could be better let me see what's this next card 
So for some of you, it feels like they're ghosting or they're just, yeah. So we have the Eight of Cups. So whatever they had going on that they, oh, wow. So the Integrity card wanted to show at the bottom there. And what I just heard when I saw it is that they're enduring a lot of things to stay on the right path or, the, or to keep the right energy, the right behavior, the right attitude. So this Divine Masculine may be enduring a lot. Now with the Eight of Cups energy, what I'm feeling is that they're detaching or they're deciding to abandon a lot of things that they were emotionally attached to. This could be a job that they really had high hopes for, that it just did not work out, but they did invest a lot in it. I'm feeling like they want to be more reliable. And I'm feeling like in this Hermit and this Eight of Cups, they know that they have to abandon whatever they were passionate about or whatever they love. It could, it feels like a business adventure. Maybe they had two or more businesses here and they really have to kind of like, um, shut that down or they really have to like abandon that right now. But it's, it feels like a bittersweet moment. Do you get what I'm saying? They may also be struggling with a sense of forgiveness when it comes to walking away from these things. For some of you, Divine Feminine, they may be walking away from you temporarily because the Eight of Cups could talk about coming back around. They are very aware that it's going to have obstacles that they're going to have to endure with that integrity card. But it's like they're going to endure it. I'm hearing I'm going to endure whatever it takes to, to stay in the right behavior. When your Divine Masculine comes back into union with you, when this commitment time comes, I feel like they're going to have, they're going to be totally different. They may even come with more love and wisdom coming out of this hermit energy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. With the nine of pentacles, they're into long term, baby. Yep. They're into more long term because they realize that working hard and putting in this long term goals, it's a strive for excellency in their life, in their professions. Very critical in the visual right now. Oh my goodness, what is this? All right, so this is how I saw it. <laughs> so we have the lovers. Yeah, okay. So what's what I'm seeing is the first thing I heard was dualities today with the lovers. The lovers showed up twice. First thing I heard was dualities. I'm going to speak a little faster because I want to get to the channel messages. Your divine masculine is very serious right now. All right. They know that you're their soulmate twin flame energy going on between the both of you. For right now, some of you, that's all they know. It's, the, it's just that you're confirmed soulmate. They may be getting to readings from other people or they're seeing different platforms that's offering the characteristics or how do you know this person is a soulmate? They're seeing it live posted. They're looking at other people's comments. They're picking up a lot of different people's opinions and ideas. That's what I felt like. They're picking up possibilities of new ideas, uh, new opportunities from the world. And that could be in that category. Now, nine of pentacles with the lovers. I definitely feel like they want to put in more time or they want to see this through for the long term. I'm hearing longevity as well. I, I'm hearing, I don't know where I would be without you. Who would I be without you? They're looking at their divine feminine as some of you are older, but they feel like you have like this young energy about you. And it's very hypnotic is what I heard. Now with the lover's energy, like I said, they're going to have to abandon something in the background or something that they were putting a lot of emotion, something that was okay, something that felt satisfying for a while. This is eight cups, all right? New lifestyle. They're choosing a new lifestyle. They're mentally preparing themselves in the hermit energy to put themselves in the right behavior, in the right attitude, to be more open and welcoming of you guys' connection. They realize that you are their half. You know, you are their other hold of themselves, all right. So right now they may be moving very independently from this soulmate connection is because they have to get right with themselves. They have to be more in their loving energy to give loving energy to their divine feminine. This may be something that they're now catching on on now catching on on now that they, they grasp. 
the concept of giving and receiving reciprocity, reciprocation, granting themselves a new beginning here with the six of swords. So they're moving out. They're really leaving behind things that felt okay. It was not fulfilling. It just felt really okay. It could have been a fair of um, going out in the world and having to face new obstacles. They didn't want to do that. We have yes showing up here. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. We have yes. So whatever you wanted to know, Divine Feminine, it's a yes right now. It could also feel like they're on their way. It could also feel like they have been initiated in the rite of their passage. Their rite of passage. They have now been initiated. We see here how they're starting to feel a little bit more responsible. They could even be responsible for what happened in this, in this Eight of Cups uh, situation. I'm definitely feeling like they struggle with forgiveness here with the, the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> For some of you, if this person has children, excuse me, there's a sense of feeling remorse of having to put them to the back burner. For some of you, Divine Masculine is thinking they have fantasies about expanding in your city, but wherever they're at, they built a life there or they built, it feels like they built a life surrounding children or family and the thought of leaving them feels kind of like sorrow or a bittersweet. I'm hearing it's a bittersweet ending, but it's like, I know I'm being called to venture out. I'm being called to expand. Some of you, your divine masculine may be looking for job opportunities. They may even be looking for how to start um, relocating in your, in your neighborhood and you have no idea because six of swords could talk about relocating. It's talking about expanding, moving from one place that you were settled, that you were content to a new land. Hey, this is going to cause your divine masculine to want to be more responsible. It's going to usher in, um, this more ambitious planning or planners energy they want to lay down new foundation they have already emotionally checked out where they're at bags may be already packed researches may have already been done wow right but it's like they know that it's going to is they know that they're going to have to be very serious about this hard work if they want to be uh in this life all right a very logical thinker and the thing is, what feels very bittersweet here is because they love to be of service to whatever this was. Whatever this was, a lot of emotions was put in it. And I feel like it's family. It could be children. It could be that they love that city as well. It doesn't feel like ex-partners. It just feels like it was a part of them and now they have to go. They have to move on. They have to turn the page here. And it feels like sad it feels bittersweet but they prefer to do things this way or their way in that virgo energy divine feminine it's important to know that your divine masculine prefers to do things their way okay they take they, they take things very literally and for them to be in this loving energy about anyone divine feminine it's like they're just being pulled. They're being guided. And I feel like that's what they're telling themselves. Like, hey, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities because I'm very open and I'm being guided to leave, to, to, to leave, to go to new lands, to have this new lifestyle. So, and you know, whatever commitment is coming, it may be very small to you, divine feminine, because, you know, you have your standards or whatever, you have your expectations. But whatever it is, it feels very huge to your divine masculine. And let me show you this, you guys. This is the yin and yang. This is the yin and yang in that card, all right? So, again, dualities, balancing out that duality to create, to expand it, to tap into that love and energy of the flow. A lot of fantasies, a lot of sexual desires that's coming from the lover's card. They could also feel like you guys' relationship uh, helped them to achieve more, not only financially, but achieve more of themselves here. Hey? One thing I have to say is that your person, even though they're taking small steps, we see that with expansion card. I did mention that. It's very small steps, but they have this like major or epic um, impact 
on your divine masculine because you might not be seeing it that way but what they're doing it's it's big to them it's a big deal to them for some of you it's two things that's really bugging me about the hermit and the nine of pentacles i feel like your divine masculine is their own worst critic i feel like they don't respond well to stupid things and i also feel like they have a particular way in what they reveal and what they conceal because the hermit is all the way up there. They could be feeling really cold and critical right now about themselves. And it's like they want to do things their own way. So they're going to reveal and conceal what they want, divine feminine. So it's a very strong power or a very strong um, determination that I felt and we have the moon so like I was just saying they have their particular way of concealing things hey for some of you divine feminines you are very unaware of a commitment that's coming you're very unaware of it and with this feeling weak and powerless they may not be seeing a lot of things that's uh, correct hey divine feminine but this could also talk about going through that dark night of the soul to enhance that intuitive muscle. So they're going through this very mysterious path for this new lifestyle to enhance the intuitive or, yeah, their intuitive muscle. This could be a Cap, uh, sorry, uh, I was going to say a Capricorn with Cancerian or Piscean energy. So they're taking their emotions very seriously, but they know that they have to try this mysterious path and this mysterious path is cropping up a lot of fears. And this is why they're very reflective right now. This is probably why they could feel like they're ghosting you or they're not showing you things because they're going through their own dark night of the soul. Hey? So they're doing like two to three things simultaneously, but they're giving themselves permission to have this new lifestyle, divine feminine in this page of pentacles energy. Let me tell you, they're working on being very dedicated, working on some good habits. They have some big dreams and visions here, but they're taking very small, subtle steps to get to it. I did mention the page of uh, the Knight of Pentacles, but we have the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, they're you, they're really concentrated on their financial insecurity. Uh, they could also be looking at the lack of commitment that they gave you, Divine Feminine. And this is why we have commitment coming. All right. It's on its way. It's in route. But they're still being initiated in this rite of passage through the dark night of the soul or the ego. Hey? All right. So let's get some channel messages. What's going on? What would this divine masculine love to tell their divine feminine? Yeah. OK, so they're now developing some very high standards for themselves. We have past memories or they had high standards for themselves, but they did not obtain it. And this is why they're so critical of themselves. So. At times, they really get down on themselves. I'm sorry if my nose is still whistling. It's still kind of swollen from blowing it earlier. I did do this frankincense bath a couple of days ago, and it was so relaxing. It was so smoothing. But today, I woke up. Like I said, I was sweating for the past two nights in my sleep. I have no idea what that could be, but that could also be the initiating symptoms I'm feeling with your divine masculine in this rite of passage. So we have pa uh, past memories. My memories mean something memories of a past life together so divine feminine your divine masculine has been getting some visions some dreams about this life that they had with you in another life this is what's also sparking their guidance or their pull because in the eight of cups whoever is in that eight of cups energy they're being pulled they're being guided to to expand here from what they were doing all right and it could be due to the loving energy and the openness that they have with you, Divine Feminine. They're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities that's leading them to do some uh, shadow work here as well. I always keep you on a pedestal. Misery loves company, baby. Don't sweat these hoes. So some of you Divine Feminines, there being some drama shit with your Divine Masculine's uh, karmic account with other in individuals. It's time to stop that. It's time if you have been going back and forth with people that you know are stalking you, this divine masculine ex, their ex wife, their ex husband, whoever, it's time to stop that. You don't need to stop that. A lot of you need to stop that, or you don't need to stop that. Which one it is? Yes, you need to stop it. Gosh, some of you divine feminines already have been doing a lot of this great work. You know, you're conquering a lot of your shadow sides, your intuition muscle is really strong. You have built your own pedestal, baby. Ain't nobody could take you off for that. So quit with these hoes, yo. 
So you guys may be seeing your divine masculine commenting or liking people's shit. Okay. You don't like and comment on other people's shit too. I comment on liking other people's shit all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on now. I'm hearing I should I should mirror my divine masculine. Yeah, go ahead and mirror your divine masculine. It says, please don't give my loving away. Keep it sacred. So yeah, that could be another uh, drive. Your divine masculine is in, in this strong, active drive because they don't want you to give that loving away. This is a very serious divine masculine. When it when things go wrong, don't panic. So in the past, that was what your divine masculine was doing. Every time they get too emotional or every time it was too intense or every time you was asking for them to be a little bit more commitment, committed and to give more from a more love-based uh, energy, they panic because they were always in fair base energy. So they panic. So now I'm feeling like when they trust their intuition and their natural gut instinct, they're not going to panic and ghost anymore because they're trying to be more re uh, responsible. I definitely pick up that they're working on being more reliable in their divine feminine's life and even in their life because it starts with them first. They're not only doing it to you or was doing it to you, divine feminine. It was them period at jobs. They will look for jobs or career opportunities that did not demand for them to stand up and be more uh, reliable, to be more dedicated or disciplined. They were fixated on things that did not demand nothing out of them. But now they see that they have to expand. All right. And this could be a divine masculine that's older than you, but had like this like childlike energy, you know, very immature energy. So let's keep going. What else do they want you to know? bad memories so they have in memories about they have memories about past life with you divine feminine but again they're shadows because we have the moon whatever their desires is attached to okay so they have a lot of desires to have this new lifestyle but it's attached to a lot of fae and those fairs or them doing the shadow work is it's cropping up a lot of bad memories that they may have suppressed. It says, remembering things I don't understand, glimpse of events. So listen, this is why your divine masculine feels very weak right now because a lot of this shadow work takes a lot of energy, a lot of this introspective work, a lot of staying the course, uh, enduring whatever is going on just to be, just to stay in the right behavior. It's very exhausting divine feminine. So Whoever this wave of divine masculine is, wow, you know, wow. They're really determined here, though. A lot of bad memories coming up. So they could be going into trances. They could be in meditation. Whatever they're being guided to look at, it's kind of like triggering these bad memories, these shadow work that has to be done. Okay, cam uh, all right, so it says, I must be crazy. I'm going to pick it up with my feet, you guys. Hold on, hold on. It says, I must be crazy. Everything about us makes sense. Awaken. <laughs> so like I said, they do have some sort of awareness that this is a soulmate connection. For others, they're stumbling on on twin flame information. Some of them are turning to tarot readings for more intuitive guidance as well. I want a partnership. It won't always be easy or perfect. I just know if the good outweighs the bad, it will be well worth it. Yep. <laughs> because whatever they had going on, it was not worth it. Maybe when they were in a, a unawakened state, they thought that this was the life. But now that they have woken up and been doing the shadow work, facing a lot of their darkness, they're now seeing. They're now see I'm hearing they've been healing and soothing and surrendering. That's beautiful, right? They're having the courage to move on unavoidable changes so like i said staying in this eight of cups energy where things was just all right it was okay you know trying to avoid the changes trying to stay there in an ineffective way this resistance brought a lot of suffering not only to them but their divine feminine as well it says end of a stage sorry end of a life stage or relationship intense and unexpected so in this moon card, in this dark night of the soul, your divine masculine is starting to see that a lot of things that they were looking at was not really what they thought it was. I'm hearing the boogeyman. This divine masculine may have been afraid of the dark as a, as a child, 
afraid of the dark, afraid of being alone is what I heard as well. So they could have just been picking situations or casual relationships because they just didn't want to be alone. Now they're starting to see a lot of illusions. All that glitters is not gold. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> so they may feel disrespected. I don't know if it's from the divine feminine or it's from these situations or these karmic accounts that they have with other individuals. They could even be talking to themselves in the mirror like, motherfucker, you need to put respect on my name, like pointing at themselves. <laughs> they could have been lied on. And again, they could have had business with other people. They could have had a lot of things that they felt was good enough. And they're now seeing that people were disrespecting them. A lot of people around them got them completely fucked up. Divine feminine, you may be underestimating your divine masculine's um, power to commit. It says beware. So this is um, this is a warning for some divine feminines, and this could be divine masculine. Depends on how it resonates. It says beware. If you are, it says if you are considering letting someone who took you for granted back into your life, make sure this person comes back courageous, authentic, consistent, honest, open. To commitment or commitment or com being committed so that was a warning this is a warning for you guys to look for the red flags yes it's easy to overlook it when we're so excited to welcome this person back in because of this love and energy that we feel but it's important divine feminine to look at what needs to be work on look at the weaknesses all right with this moon card, there could also be a little bit of secret information that your divine master is not saying. And I told you guys what is uh, kind of like bugging me or irritating me about this divine masculine. They have a particular way of revealing and concealing things. And then the moon card was on the bottom of the deck. So don't be too excited. Hold your ground, divine feminine. Stand in that pre-empress energy of the nine of pentacles. You have accomplished a lot. You have stayed your cause. You know, you put in a lot of work to gain those accomplishments for that great work, whether it's healing yourself, you know, becoming a stronger individual, tapping into your love and energy. Do not let this divine masculine enter without them doing their part of the work. We have the lovers talking about reciprocity and reciprocation. They have to be committed. Therefore, commitment is ending a situation, not ending to return. They have to cancel out something. They have to make a choice. And this could also mean making a choice to take you guys' thing to another level. It does not have to be between two people. It could also mean between two different lifestyles. So they have to really choose one and stick with it. <laughs> Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine would like you to know that you have managed to unravel riddles within them. And this goes for you too, Divine Feminine. You have managed to unravel a lot of riddles within your uniqueness. Beautiful energy. There's a lot of mirroring that's going on. Your Divine Masculine may be like steps behind, but that's okay. They're still in the same path. And remember, you guys are part of the same soul signature, but you guys are two different individuals, all right? Two different, two different ways of dealing with things. It says, I'd rather you hold my hand when times get rough and nobody is watching. Take that how it resonates. Let's get one more card. What is this divine masculine wanting to say? I got options, but I want you. So this divine masculine may have a lot of admirers, but they want you divine feminine. And it's a very, it's very imperative that this divine masculine knows that they have to put in the work for a life, a lifetime or however long you want them in your life. All right. Oh, geez. It says afraid of my emotions. Love makes me want to risk everything. I'm telling you, they want to just abandon whatever they have going on. They're being guided to do this as well. They're being pulled to do this. It says, um, and that scares me. 
everything I was taught, will I be left with nothing? So this is a divine masculine that does not agree with starting over. This may be a thing of the past, but I'm seeing that they, they, they don't want to start over, but who loves to start over anyway? You know, you got to be a real, um, explorer to like, you know what, I'm going to just ditch everything and follow the wind type of energy. I don't feel like this divine masculine because there's such a serious energy. They're too self-critical to even have that type of energy, but they could be working on that as well. This going through the shadow work and all of that stuff, maybe breaking that down. Not some more messages here. It says, I know you feeling nagged, but please stay. When you walk away, from me, I feel discarded. So you may have walked away from your divine masculine and they're just following you now, all right? When you say things like that, it sounds like you're thinking of ending our relationship. Is that what you really mean? So this divine masculine is very afraid that you're leaving them for good. Because some of you may have walked away with the Six of Swords energy. Maybe the last time that they ghost, you decided not to follow or you decide not to like see what's going on. This could have been a tactic to see how much you really care. You know, that fake ghosting where, you know, they stop talking to you all of a sudden and then you reach out and then they reach back out and it goes, goes, goes. And then again, the ghosting happened. So some of you may have really like walked away because you felt nagged. And now they're just like, what the f They could be scared of their wits right now. You know, they're seeing that that's not working anymore with the divine feminine and they're feeling some sort of way uh, that could have catapulted them into this shadow work as well. You are precious and you deserve to be treated that way. So, hmm, OK, then. So this divine masculine is waking up. They're waking up to what they have to do. The thing is, they may be feeling very powerless at this time because of money. Maybe some of them are trapped in a situation where they put a lot of en energy and emotions because, again, unawakened, they thought that this was it. But all that glitters was not gold. It was an illusion in that eight of cups. So maybe they were taught to go for certain relationships, certain jobs, a certain way of life. But as they begin to grow into themselves, as they begin to know themselves through the divine feminine, they finally see that shit. Some of this, all of this shit was an illusion here. And then catapult them into a dark night of the soul to do the shadow work or the, the dark night of the ego to do the shadow work because now the divine feminine is not being a part of this illusion. I'm afraid that if I say I'm sorry, you will make everything my fault. That's that judgment. That's being self-critical, struggling with forgiveness or asking for forgiveness and, and actually changed of behavior. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a total and complete idiot. Bottom of the deck. I'm sorry I couldn't hear you sooner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Divine masculine is going through some shit. They're waking up to a lot of things and it's happening rapid, rapidly. They're having a lot of bad memories that's coming up. Things that they may have suppressed or forced themselves to forget. So I'm feeling like they're kind of tortured in that hermit energy. But I feel like when they come back out after they do this dark night of the ego or the soul, it's like they're going to have this change of energy could be coming out with new skills, new approach, a different way of dealing with things, new perspective because we have new lifestyle. Who this? In that loving energy card, we see a book type of energy. They're ready to write a new book, not a new chapter. It's like they're going to they're going to throw away that book. You know, and they're going to take a new book out and they're going to start. This is my new life. Who this? So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you did, go and big up yourself in the comment box below. Remember, your divine masculine loves you. They lust you. They want to grow with you. They want to create with you children, jobs, careers, whatever it is. They want to help save the earth, too. But they have to go through a lot of breaking and shedding of a lot of programmings and conditionings. And a lot of times we don't want to let go of what f is familiar because this is all we know. Sometimes it takes losing someone you love daily, even if they're not passed away. I think Kevin Gates mentioned that it hurts worse than when, when you lose someone that's not even dead. All right. So that may have been what, dri what drives your divine masculine to want to expand both in the mind and in the heart space. All right, divine feminines and whoever is out there looking, whoever is out there watching. <laughs> 
Thank you guys for your spiritual gratitude donations to the tips for the free readings here and the hourglass. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.